Hello! In this video I will introduce the concept of transposing, its basic setup and terminology. Transposing allows us to save carefully designed pose presets and then reuse those pose presets in our animation timeline in any order tween between them or base new poses on these pose presets. It is an extremely powerful tool which allows for a lot of variation but also stylistic consistency. So how does transposing work? There are two types of symbols, the transposer reference symbol which uh, is the container of our preset poses and then mediated by the transposer panel which we'll look into in a second we transfer those pose presets into our animation timeline. So I'll double click onto this head so that we can look into the reference symbol or what we call ref. Here we have a bunch of pose presets as you can see just different views of the head and different facial expressions even some uh, silly variations here. So these are our pose presets and this is our animation timeline where we will actually do our animation and here we have a bunch of uh, controllers for this head. So basically these frames here are just uh, for the purposes of clarity. I will switch them off because we don't really need them. We don't need to look at our uh, ref symbol, it does not need to be on the stage. And we'll focus on the actual animation symbol. So we saw the pulse presets and now we will load them into the transposer panel. They appear here as thumbnails. What is interesting to note is that uh, upon clicking on any of these thumbnails, a keyframe will be created at the current frame and all these properties of the frame from the reference symbol will be transferred to the current timeline because these are all dynamic. We can tween between these. So we can, we can tween the properties and we can transpose in uh, obviously in any order if we would like to go the other way and click on this one we can tween between this one and that one add another keyframe and go three quarter up and again we can tween between these so there you go we have uh, created a, a simple animation and now as uh, I said because these are all dynamic we can decide to modify them or change them entirely so if we say okay so this this antic is is too big we don't want that much of an anticipation let's uh, only do that much I can uh, just create the keyframe here and use that one as uh, defining for my antic so just just that much of an antic and then down and then up and even if I want to modify this pose I can just grab kineflex and modify it a little bit as much as I want so nothing nothing is set I've transposed and then I'm just fine-tuning these so if I did not want to have the eyes go that much down the pupils I can just keep them like that and then go up and then I can either go for another transpose pose which might be this one let's do that for the short demonstration here and then go tween but if I don't want to go that much uh, down, I can, I can settle on this and create the keyframe and then just, just slide it there. And now 
we've created a little a little animation and if i say okay so here i would like to add a blink while he goes down i can go to my uh, eyelid controllers just like this and okay i would like the blink to happen here so i'll add a keyframe and blink it closed and then i'll open the eyes here so I'll create another keyframe and open the eyes all right let me play this back so so this is a simple animation where we used transposing and this is obviously uh, supposed to run as a synced timeline so here on this uh, character timeline this will be a synced head set to play once and we can animate the character in sync with this animation that happens inside a quick sped up sequence here where i'm creating a couple of keyframes and uh, using smart magnet rig ik and kineflex scrub to just pose the character and add some uh, body animation okay and now when we have a bit of animation i would like to change the timing slightly inside so uh oh, my, my key is offset so let me just move this one here and sync the head and change the eye direction just a little bit and he looks slightly up and maybe go uh, with just classic easing of 100 on these yeah let's uh let's see there's a, a little defect on the hair which i'll have to address so just just here Okay, so this is how efficient it is to use transposing for complex facial animation. Uh, but it is not limited to facial animation, since it is symbol based, anything can be transposed and it is very efficient with full body poses as well. On top of that, it's extremely pleasant to use. It's um, enjoyable and uh, stimulates experimentation which uh, ultimately leads to better and uh, more high quality animation output. So I hope that this uh, presentation has been useful. Thanks for watching.